Let's see the accounting treatment of issue of shares at a premium. Now, we've learned the concept that you know normally a share capital is denominated in particular number which we call the face value or the nominal value. Let's say the face value or the nominal value of share is rupees 10. Okay. Many a times what happens is that there are good companies okay, which are very strong and they give consistent return and consistent performance to the shareholders. So what happens is that in case of those companies when the shares are issued instead of being issued at the face value these are issued at a price which is above the face value. So let's say you issue the share instead of 10 at rupees 12. So 2 rupees more than the face value. So in such a case when a share is issued at a price above the face value it is said to be issued at premium and the excess of the issue price in this case this 12 rupee is going to be called as the issue price so premium is equal to issue price minus the face value so in the above example 12 minus 10 is equal to 2 rupees. Now you can call this premium at any time. I mean normally this is called called either at the stage of application or allotment. Legally there is no bar you can call it even with even as a final call. So there is no legal bar but normally it is called at application or allotment stage. Okay. Now let us say suppose this 10 rupee share was called at 2 and someone tells you that in the company called share application on 5000 shares at the rate of rupees 5 per share along with share premium. So what happened in this case is there were 5000 shares 5 rupee was the share application amount, 3 rupees was the share, sorry, 2 rupees was the share premium. The company called this entire amount at the stage of share application. So when you receive this entire amount, what will be the entry? You got 5 plus 2, 7 rupees into 5000 shares. So The entry will be bank account debit by what number? You have got 7 rupees per share at 5000 per share. So 7 into 5000, 2 share application account, 35,000. Okay. So you have received the share application money. At the same time, 
you have to transfer this to the share capital account so the entry will be share application account debit 35,000 to share capital now how much will you transfer to share capital account out of this 7 rupees that you have received only 5 is towards the capital amount capital amount is what capital amount is the face value of rupees 10 so only 5 is towards capital and the balance 2 is actually share premium account now share premium account is normally reflected separately in the balance sheet so as you transfer the share application account you have to break it into two parts one is for the share capital and second is for the share premium so share capital basically is the nominal amount so what does go there here goes the nominal value or the portion of face value which is embedded in share application which is how much 5 into 5000 I'm just putting in 25,000 here and the balance which is 2 into 5000 represents share premium and it goes to the share premium account 